<sighs> All right. Here we are, here we are. What's up, Pokey? Why is the... Why is the chat box have such an odd... <laughs> what the fuck? Has such a strange... Uh... Aspect ratio to it. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Ooh. What with? Is it bad? Also, let me know how the audio is because I never wear a headset when I do this, but I figured I'd try it. Happy because we have new info. Yeah, po I was actually wondering... Um, there's a particular, uh, you know what, I still have to drop the at, hold on. At stream. Uh, <laughs> there was a particular piece of information that was revealed the other day that I actually had not intended to, uh, had not intended to share. I was wondering if you had found that or not. DDD stream! What up? Okay, I'm realizing now that... Uh, that increasing the size of the chat box does not actually... Uh, doesn't actually allow more stuff to show up. I don't know why this chat box has to be that particular shape. Kind of annoying. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do, Pokey. What does the dev stand for? It's a great question. That's a phenomenal question. Um, who knows? Devin. <laughs> What is Chip's legal name? Hmm. Um, Relic Knight is a summoner, yes. Devin is, is the Dark Deity, that's correct, yeah. Um, okay. Drop by with any questions you might have. Ray 8! Hold on a minute. That's a name, I don't, I don't know if I'm tripping. You used to come to the streams, right? Or are you brand new? If so, sorry for uh, misremembering. No, you did. Okay, yeah. What's up? How, how has uh, how you been? Okay. Before Dark Deity release, yeah. Back back when I actually still did these. <laughs> it's uh, we've just been starting them back up. Doing really well. Doing really well. This is uh, an intense week for implementation for sure um but i am very very excited about what we got going on so uh yeah happy to see you joining back in happy to answer any questions you may have i've been sort of just what i do here all right Cleaning up stuff. So, let's see. Realizing I'm probably going to struggle to actually uh, do story stuff on... Anytime I work on story on stream, I just absolutely, like, 
don't get anything done. <laughs> uh, Lord of Crime, welcome to chat. Is there going to be more of a support system in this game? Yeah, so the bonds are a lot more built out. I assume you're talking about like how in the first game the gameplay doesn't or the bonds don't actually affect gameplay, correct? Um, yeah, so uh, Pokey, I'll answer your question in a second. The bond system, I haven't talked about exactly what it entails, but there are gameplay benefits to uh, building out the bonds. Um, they're probably not what you would think they are, but um, that's something I'll, I'll probably talk about in the coming months a little bit more, uh, a little more explicitly. Uh, is there romance like Fire Emblem? No, so... <laughs> that's a good question. Um, similar to what we did with the first game... Pinned a message. What what did you what did you pin? Hmm. Um <laughs> Maybe it's just happening on Twitch and I can't see it. Uh hold on. Yeah, you know, that's I'll just we'll just let it be. Uh for the romance, it'll be like the first game in that there are some pairings that are uh, romantically inclined, but you don't, like, choose romances for people. There are just some, like, canonical pairings, and there are some not, and some where, you know, a will they, won't they? Okay, that's it. That's it, I've gotta open up, uh, gotta open up Twitch real quick and see what the fuck you're talking about. I can see what the oh. I'm just probably projected my voice double into here. I'm oh, oh, I've done it again. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> Zilla right, guy writing supports here. Characters will have romantic bonds, but probably not going to have a shipping system the way Effie does. Yeah, that's a, actually a much simpler way to say it. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, that's, that's, Luke, that's kind of... Oh, you know what that for some reason that did, that did actually come up. Okay. I'm just I'm just an idiot. Uh which is not not news, so there is that. Um let's see, let's think about this. Uh ooh, that's actually probably a good one to do. Um Okay. Totally new script here. Uh, so something that I haven't actually worked on yet that I'm going to do right now because, uh, I need to do it before Friday is managing shop inventory. Uh, in the first game, there's no inventory. You just kind of purchase everything willy nilly. Uh, there is like actual inventory limits in the shop for Dr. D2. Although at the moment... You just like start at low inventory and I haven't put in the script that increases the inventory, so uh, I need to do that. Um, yes, that's true. I remember that. Um, that was only because it, uh, they were both like, like, yeah, like, <laughs> that, that really, that really was the harem ending. Um, he who quacks. Welcome to stream. If this is your first time live, you're saying. Um, glad to have you here. Ask away. You finally get to be the one asking questions instead of just listening. Unless you've just changed your name and you used to come to them. But I feel like I would remember that name if you used to come to streams. Uh, will there be a demo? I don't know yet. Um, so don't, don't quote me on it. I think it's possible, but not like overwhelmingly likely. Uh, I, I don't know yet. Just because I don't know how much I trust my own, like, tech capabilities to not put out a demo that people, like, can mod and fuck around with and, like, access the rest of the game. 
I don't think I'm very good. I, I don't think that it's built very well to isolate the experience like that. So I might, I might, but we'll see. We just, there's people that like mod Dark Deity and, and dig around in the code and they would be able to spoil like the whole game. Uh, so that's kind of my big concern. Uh, let's see, Zill, I don't know if you can say this, but as the one making the supports, are there any new... You know what's funny? Uh, I don't know if Zillarite and I have discussed that explicitly yet. But it, there, there are. But I don't know if we have, like, gone through and discussed it. Yeah, you, I, I mean, that's entirely your prerogative. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm... I'm bing chilling. Uh, hold on, let me, let me, you know what, I cannot be opening this guy. Uh, Zell, I'll, I'll send you, after the stream, I'll send you the particular, what I had in mind. Um, yeah, Ray, that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm sitting, but we'll see. It, I haven't looked too deeply into whether or not that's the case or not, so uh, it'll kind of depend. Once I find out, mm, I guess the feasibility of it, I, I will. Um, yeah, I'm curious to hear that. I actually think from a, uh, LGBTQIA plus standpoint, uh, Zill, I think we probably are of the same mind, uh, for the most part on, on who is, uh, identifies how, but I'm very curious to see what you think. Um, okay. Okay. Shop stock. And boom. So this is going to take me forever. Uh, come up in passing. Yeah. I actually think that that's not really like a bad place to be, though, if it's if it's staying flexible. Uh, Quacks, do we have a target of how many levels we're going to have for Dark DD2? Yeah. At the moment, the story is uh, around 30 chapters again. Um, and then you have the ability to um, do like training or grindable levels, which will probably be like you get access to one in between every uh, story chapter. Um, and you, uh, there's also going to be side quests that are sort of like, if you're familiar with Fire Emblem, Paralogs. Uh, that is, quite frankly, an indeterminate number because uh, we're going to make them after the story is done because it's sort of secondary content. Um, I'd like to have more information about what my timeline is looking like and, you know, how capable we are of making more of those before I decide on that. Um, I'm top one on Twitch by DarkD2 category. Could it be? <laughs> the only one who's ever streamed it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really excited for the side quest, Quacks. Um, I, am, I am very excited for that. Um, okay, so I need to get send your game info out here. Where are you? Game data. Where's my shop stock? Gosh darn it. Okay, here we go. Um, so it's probably still early, but any plans for paralog specific characters, recruitable or otherwise? Um, not at the moment, no. The The plan is going to be, um, for the most part, outside of a couple, uh, outside of a couple specific, um, excuse me, specific instances, you will be getting just all the characters without a whole lot of hoopla, just like it was in the first game. There's just fewer characters, so it's not as, like, constant. Um... Acoustic Harmonia? I haven't seen this man in a stream in a hot minute. How you doing, brother? And ask away. Is mayonnaise an instrument? 
Uh, uh, uh. God, that's a, that's a classic. Um, oh, and Quacks, absolutely. I I mean, there were much older messages that I had not responded to. I I don't check the Kickstarter like ever because the game came out so long ago. I'm just assuming I'm not getting any like questions about it anymore. Um, so I'm glad I did check it today because I, frankly, had more messages than I would have thought. Um, people that just like you know never never had the code because it went to spam or something. So. Uh, yeah, but I'm really, I'm really, I don't, I don't check it very often at all. Okay, let's drag this bad boy down here. Harmonia, how has the, uh, I'm never on YouTube, how is uh, the channel going right now? What's the vibe? Okay. Oops. Uh, channel stuffs right now is Pokemon essays going crazy. While I take a chick, uh, pill, ugh, Jesus, chill pill without any big editing projects. Yeah. Last year of university, huh? That's exciting. If you don't mind sharing, I, I'm sure you've mentioned this and I just kind of forgot, but what is, uh, what's your program again? Um, okay. You know what I'm actually just gonna do? Bachelor of Science, in right, 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 computer science. I don't think I knew about your minor. That's interesting. I had a math minor uh, in mine. So, I, uh, I think I was probably a little bit less interested in what I was doing than you are, because your your major and minor both sound extremely interesting. Um, uh, uni actually said they were going to kick me out if I didn't graduate by this year, because I'm taking too long, learn too much stuff. Had to cram in, cram in everything you need. You sound like my older brother. He was, uh, he's an electrical engineer and he like switched programs a bunch of times, switched schools. He was all over the place. Just learning. Um, okay, anyone with writing questions? I know the stream is not particularly filled out at the moment, but if anyone has writing questions, the lead writer and really the only writer for Dark DD2 is in the chat right now for a little longer. So toss them his way. That's Zilla right. Uh, turns out you can do all the certificate classes you need. Luckily, one of the professors agreed to do a one-on-one -on -one research. That's awesome. It's honestly, it's so huge to have good professors. Yeah, I'm very likely to answer your questions in a l less interesting capacity than Zilla right will. So keep that in mind. Um, I, I simply can't relate Harmonia. I was literally the second I could get out of school. I was out. I was, <laughs> I was hauling ass away from anything college based. Um, yeah, it's, it's true. Zilla Wright's giga brain is honestly, a shocking, a shocking, shocking thing. He amazes me regularly. Although again, if I was doing a computer science major, I might have been more interested. I was doing economics. Ooh, that's a good question for Zilla Wright. How much writing does he do in a day? Um, 
When it comes to writing stuff, I'm pretty sure I've used the Sophia Foss support from Dark Duty in like at least two of my video essays. <laughs> I I love I love that uh, I love that bond. It's so good. It's 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 shit posting in its most pure form. Um. Yeah. Uh, Quacks, was the time skip in the story always planned, or was it something you thought would just be uh, better suit the story on as a whole? Yeah, for context, Zillarite uh, came on to uh, as a writer for Dark Duty 2 when a lot of the sort of world and plan was formulated. Uh, although this this story is very much his, it was pretty early formulated, but the the time skip had already been uh, decided at that point. Um, it, it was, that was our plan. I won't say from like before, you know, we even started Dark Deity, but uh, yeah, I, my, my, my biggest post Luke was on the uh, ship posting Reddit originally. Um, sorry to finish answering the question. Um, hmm. When did we decide about the time skip? I, I would say maybe six months before the first game released we decided on on the time skip we were pretty confident that we wanted to move it towards irving's kids uh from a pretty early point in in developing dark dd1 so there there was that um yeah we were we were pretty sure about that now there's a lot of things that are different. We, we were really sure that we wanted to go to Varroa as well, which is the, the continent that they briefly go to in Dark DD1, um, but and that Dark DD2 takes place on. Um yeah, yeah. Luke, I, I was I just wanted to make Dark DD2. And I was stuck patching so much stuff. So much fucking stuff. <laughs> oh, I cry, I cry every time. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, a lot of the world building sort of existed. Um, prior to us, although there's been a lot added on as well. Sorry, I'm just like deleting a huge row of things and I need motor control. Uh, so I'm not answering. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, the, the time skip worked very well with what Zillarite has been up to. Um... Harmonia, if I remember playing Civ, I asked if you could will any game into existence. You said Elder Scrolls 6, so you could play it already. Yeah. Still mad about it. Still mad about it. Um, easily Elder Scrolls 6, Harmonia. I'm actually uh, having a lot of fun making Dark TD 2. So, there's no rush. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Irving fucks? Nah. Unbelievable. It can't be. It can't be. There's no way Irving fucks. You know who fucks is Benji, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it, for, for Zillarite writing, it's been like, it's been a bit of a fresh slate, but also um, there's a lot that you can still bring in from the, the old era, which is nice. Okay. <laughs> what about Benji Do? I don't know if you're in the Discord, Quacks, but uh, we have a emote. Um, what am I doing here? Hold on. Sorry, I'm 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 dying out here. Uh, there we go. We have an emote in the Discord that's called Benji Fucks. 
It is spammed regularly by mostly just me, but you know, you know how we do. Um, <laughs> it'll catch on. Eventually, it'll catch on. I, Luke, I think I think that's right. As the Discord gets a little more active again over the coming months, um, we're getting there slowly but surely. Lord of Crime. I uh, I can relate. You got to use Benji, dude. It's it's there aren't many guarantees in life, and that's one of them. Oh, I love doing repetitive things in my code. It doesn't make me sad at all. Okay. Just trying to get a nice little trying to make it as easy as possible for me to manage this script over the lifeline of the game uh, okay Zilla writes talked about it a bunch in ROM hacking spaces more so but figuring out how to bring dark dd one's ideas into two so many years down the line in the timeline has been one of my favorite parts so far excited for people to get to play it and see what we cooked up here yeah very much very much have to agree you know, Acoustic, uh, I actually totally agree. Uh, since I solo program this, I basically still don't a lot of the time. Is it a horrible, horrible idea? Yes. Uh, am I lazy as fuck? Yes. But it's working out, it's working out well. I do caught, there's a lot more commenting on Dark DD2 than there was in the Dark DD1 code. Let's put it that way. Um, although my commenting right now is, that I'm currently doing is uh, laying out the item IDs for all of the different, uh, laying out the item IDs for all of the different shop stocks so that it's, it's like, there's an easy quick script for me to just say like, okay, add this amount to this stock. Yeah, no, there's, there's a lot more commenting. Uh, I'm still not as good about it as I should be, but it is, uh, oh my goodness. Thank you for the sub gift, Quacks. Oh my god. I think that's the first sub in a hot minute. Don't quote me. I don't, I don't know when the last one was. Someone did a couple streams ago, but besides that, it's been a very long time. That's very kind of you. Um, <laughs> slash slash, I don't know what this does, but if I delete it, everything breaks. That was literally all of Dark DD1 was that was i can't i can't go back and edit this because everything else breaks and i don't know why um uh maybe spoilers but what characters i i think what characters are demanding like which characters are fighting most for his attention and detail yeah they're the the protagonists get a lot 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 more screen time and writing than in the in the first game i tried to fit like side characters into every fucking scene and make them important which was fun but also you ended up not at all giving a shit about irving for most people um no you're good spent a lot of time drafting up little scenes of them in my head to figure out where i want to take them yeah he's doing a very very good job with it um yeah, it's, so this is what's so funny. When you ask someone who their favorite character in Dark DD1 is, I don't think I've ever, ever heard someone say Irving, Marin, Garrick, or Alden, right? Like, none of the protagonists ever, ever register on that scale because they're just not that interesting. Um, I, I think most people who have played Dark DD2 to this point, if you ask them who their favorite characters were, will give you a protagonist. Um, you might get some Aldens. That's 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 fair. Okay, all right, Pokey. I'm sorry. Well, po you're gonna be really happy because Alden is actually Alden might be my favorite in Dark Deity too. I adult Alden is fantastic. He is phenomenal. How could they ever compare to Benji? That's what I'm saying, dude. I, everyone gives the answer of Benji because that's objectively just the best character. Okay, so... Uh... 
Yeah, characters... Oh, Lord of Crime, have you not seen... Uh... Hold on. Yeah, he gets... I realize I don't have my image control on the new thing. Yeah, um... Alden is a playable character in Dark TV 2. Wait, I didn't even notice that Powell is here. And now I'm that that's that's uh that's Wildflower, right? I'm not crazy. I keep I keep forgetting because there's a couple of you doing the draft runs. I'm pretty sure that's you. Uh okay. <laughs> Pokey, Pokey, do not okay. Uh Zillarite. Do not answer a fucking word Pokey says. Uh, never, never, never answer uh, Pokey Falcon. He's too dangerous. He only uh, he only asks questions that I really I really do not need to be answering at this point in time. He knows too much. Uh, one of the fun parts about Alden is that him being a total powerhouse monster carry in Dark Duty One is canonical. Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I think you can say that. There's, there's, okay. I actually think my favorite part about the Dark DD2 story in regards to Dark DD1 and how it treats Dark DD1 is that it takes a lot of aspects of Dark DD1 that you, you might consider like missteps or imbalance or like, you know, things about the game that aren't ideal. And instead of trying to skirt around it, it like, you know, addresses the lore reasons for why we wrote things a certain way or why characters were a certain way and, like, ropes it into the world. And I think it's super, super, super interesting. And uh, Zillarite's been doing a really, really good job with that. Um, random, but please don't have someone super close to Gwen die in Dark TV 2, lol. Yeah, yeah, so her, her, uh, her older brother Sterling. I'm assuming everyone has played Dark Duty One, so this isn't spoilers. Yeah, she she's got this uh, this brother Sterling, right? And he's like really powerful and an officer. Uh, you you could say he's the father figure of the game, uh, and you know how uh, you know how father figures uh, fare in Fire Emblem games. <laughs> yeah, that was that was not our finest work, I will say. Um, I I wish we could have nailed the Sterling scene better. I feel like it, the presentation was so fucking lacking. <laughs> I've been so spoiled already. You mentioned Irving Fox. I would never have guessed. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a rehabilitation effort, but also I want to show as much respect to the OG as I can within the confines of... Yeah, it, it's... it's uh... it's It's respectful, but also like... It takes Dark DD1 as it is. Um, we low-key, part of the problem, I think we wrote Dark dd One story like a action RPG where you have more animations and stuff. And I think that, that Sterling's death could have gone crazy with like a higher budget in that type of game. But it, there was just nothing to it uh, in, you know, the way we did it. Have some times I'm hopping into Fate's Conquest Lunatic for the first time since release. Yeah. So my goal for Deity difficulty in Dark Deity 2 is for it to actually be extremely punishing. Now, is it going to be uh, maddening level? Probably not. Um, but Deity mode in Dark Deity 1 is still pretty easy for the most part. Um, we are definitely ratcheting up the, uh, the difficulty in Dark Deity 2. And there's going to be just more stratification between hero, deity, and mortal. Um, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> do I see? So, never mind. I'm not, I'm not going to get into that just yet. I'll get into that in a, on a day that Will is here and can can speak for himself because it's kind of a kind of his baby. Okay. So. Please less accuracy checks. Hmm. Never. You think I would... E Will Link! Were you here and you just decided to say that? Or did you actually just appear like 
30 seconds after I said your name. <laughs> God, well, I love you, my guy. That's, that's, I, I just fucking summoned you. That's so funny. Holy shit. Um, wow, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, th so, what I was going to talk about, I, yeah, uh, Will, I was just saying, I don't want to talk about this on a day that you're not here, because it's your, it was your, partially your baby. Um, Dark Deity 2 has something that we are tentatively calling either, uh, Captain Enemies or Specialist Enemies, uh, which are basically, like, mini-bosses in levels, or just, uh, enemies with interesting effects, like, they might, uh, give all nearby units defense you know if they are i forget what it's called but that might be like the literal captain skill uh so you have to take them out first uh and then there's you know more esoteric effects would that make you know a unit a lot stronger and more interesting to deal with um and that's going to play up the difficulty especially on deity mode quite a bit we'll probably be adding more specialist enemies to uh specifically to deity mode uh levels like the the levels will have just more uh gratification between them uh let's see let's see don't you love that one part of the map no one can hit anyone <laughs> so you have a lot more tools to deal with accuracy now there's like there's abilities that grant uh there's abilities that grant accuracy there are archetypes that grant accuracy um Zilla writes, Raid is delayed. Just to conclude the topic, try not to talk about Dark ED1 story missteps, considering I don't know the other writer for that project, but I've definitely been looking for ways to improve upon those elements where one might have missed the mark. Protagonist, absolutely the number one thing, yeah. Um, boning someone grants uh, grants accuracy, that's correct. That's why Irving is, is such, a, such an accurate unit when you upgrade his, his green green swords um so many colorful characters and pro tags just fell off yeah or felt off yeah I, we just we just didn't do a very good job of uh oh will you played the embrace the fog let me know what you think of that i'm actually i'm curious to hear your thoughts you're the only person alive that has played that and uh twisted destiny because i don't think Zilla Wright, correct me if I'm wrong, you haven't played Twisted Destiny yet, right? Because it's kind of, like, busted right now? In the current builds? Yeah. Will, will Link officially the only, uh, the only person alive to have played every Fire Emblem-inspired roguelite? <laughs> um, okay. So... Um, hmm. Here's what I'm going to do for right now. The gem, the gem restocking is probably the most interesting piece, I would say. Like, that has the largest effect on your run. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I genuinely, oh, I'm, a, I'm an idiot, hold on. I am genuinely an idiot, we're good. Uh, oh, it's a ROM hack, technically a fan game. Oh, it's in, uh, Lex Talonis. <laughs> mods, mods, ban this guy. Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh, for those who are playing the, uh, internal, internal alpha this Friday, you'll be happy to know that, uh, store gem stock resets now. So you will be able to craft a lot more rings than you were able to before. 
Uh, you got you you know the uh, bailiff whack his pee pee. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay. This is set up. I'm not going to go through and do them all now because, frankly, I, I need... needs more, uh... need more attention to be able to actually, like, section this out. Uh, uh, uh... See you, also, is it intended to be on the just chatting screen or be showing the computer screen as well? Because I know I've had times as not being on. Yeah, I, I leave it on just chatting, Harmonia. The amount of the amount of shit that I would accidentally spoil and give away if I actually showed my screen while I was working is like stunning. So I just kind of sit here and talk while I work. <laughs> I come back from checking out this ROM hack to whack his pee pee. Uh, we were just uh, Zillarite was being snarky, so. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not necessarily the most engaging. I think eventually on the streams, when we're closer to launch, I'll probably start playing the game on stream, but it's just too, uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little too far out for me to show the game like blatantly like that. Uh, the tile sets not far enough along. There's enough missing UI, enough missing animations and stuff. Yeah, we need to, we need to pace out the reveals. What's it like being so devilish, devilishly handsome? Yeah, you, you gotta ask my wife. <laughs> She'll appreciate that as an answer, assuming she's listening. The door is closed, so I assume she's not, but... <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Just spoil stuff. Who's gonna ban you, the mods? I've accidentally spoiled so much shit already. I... I... There are two characters that were not supposed to be named or even discussed anytime soon that have uh, that have gotten name reveals recently. Pokey can Pokey can back that up. <laughs> Next reveals are easy. That's true, but then I also have to reveal the uh, I have to reveal the relic knight. That's probably what I'll do next week. Sorry for the spoilers. Ring. I've talked about the ring system so much now though. <laughs> Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. That is some foul shit. That's a good line, though. Uh, <laughs> absolutely based. Uh, you spoiled that Irving fuck, so you have nothing more important to reveal. That's true. Once once I revealed that Benji fucked, it's, it's GG. Oh boy, I can't wait for emblem rings. Harmonia, I'm actually still really fucking mad that Engage uh, had rings. And it's some other stuff that's pretty similar to what we're doing. Because, yeah, they are very different though. The rings, if you haven't heard this, the rings are literally like just a better version of the Eternal Aspect system. So they are pretty built out. Like they have significant effect. They're actually really fucking OP at the moment. I need to scale back like all of them. Um, they're insanely busted. They're fun though. That much cannot be denied. <laughs> Unless. Gotta play three houses. You know the fun thing? You don't. <laughs> I, I, I would... I don't know that I would necessarily recommend uh, doing that. If it's been this long. Uh, let's see. Lord of Crime. I like the aspects, but are they all rings now? Or there's... So... Um, it's the same type of effect, you know, like tertiary character changing effects where like maybe a, a double attack does more damage or um, things of that nature that, that are a little bit unusual. It's just really the only difference is how you get them. You craft them using gems that you get from like chests or buy them in the store, that sort of thing now, rather than just get like, get like a lump of them. Uh, Quacks, it was not bad. Uh, you know what? If you haven't played it at all, I had fun with it. I have like 80 hours played. I just could never bring myself to go back and play it because I hate how long it takes in between chapters. I find it uh, kind of exhausting, frankly. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> Retweet! Yeah, cra crafting... Uh... Eh, 
Mia Magic, welcome to stream. There wasn't a, a whole lot of interest I dropped, I don't think, that you wouldn't have already known. We had some we had some newcomers to stream, so some some recap went down. Um Yeah, the crafting systems are nothing crazy. It's really more like upgrade systems, but everyone calls stuff crafting now. Um They're thematically pretty fun. When is this guy playing Radiant Dawn Randomizer? I want to progress. Uh, never, Luke. Yeah, just beat the damn thing and then tell me about it after. I'll, I'll play on Friday, probably. Uh, people that are here, on Friday's stream, I will be playing a Radiant Dawn Randomizer. So, keep that in mind. They, they are a little bit overdone right now, crafting systems. I think that that's pretty much impossible to deny. Um, okay. So... Hmm. Um, don't want to get too far ahead. You just beat the Lugus chapter. Be a shame if another archer has 23 defense. Yeah, like what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? That's crazy. As long as I don't add a battle pass, yeah, you're chilling. Don't don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm so fucking sick of battle passes. I know that's like not like a brave or refreshing thing to say. Everyone is sick of battle passes, but that doesn't change the fact that everyone keeps making them. In in games you pay for it too. It's fucking it's infuriating. God. <laughs> no battle pass. Fuck. <laughs> Everyone just really wants a battle pass, you know what I mean? Um, okay. Let's see, let's see. Fortnite battle pass. I just shit out my ass. That's goaded TikTok. I actually went to uh, the uh, the person that he duetted. I went to high school with the Mad at Disney girl. Fun fact. Who's in the grade below me? I think I I think she's probably without argument the most famous person from that I that I would have known at that point in time. Um, not that I actually knew. We just went to the same school. Uh, add a battle pass and loot boxes for crystals to use in the crafting system. Go full EA level marketing. Genius. Yeah, you have to actually pay ten dollars if you want to uh, craft a ring. Look, I'm just saying, every time a character dies, you can pay $1 to get them back. Who's saying no? <laughs> Out of mana, $1. I, <laughs> I, would not, I would not put that past Nintendo, let's be real. That'd be some Fire Emblem Heroes shit. If they could pull it off, they would. Not that I know anything about Fire Emblem Heroes, so don't don't come after me for that, but. <laughs> I've been talking to that Unity CEO. Hey, he's not the CEO anymore. He's stepping down. But yeah, like with the the, the bullets. Um in one of my game design classes I'm in right now, we actually talked about some crazy monetization stuff in the industry recently. Monetization is horrifying. The way the way things have been going is absolutely foul. Character's unique skill, the more money you spend, the stronger their attack. That would be who whose skill would that be from Dark DD1? Who's who's the absolute greediest? I feel like that I feel like that could be like Sloan. Oh, Fenton, who am I kidding? It's absolutely Fenton. Um what, what do they teach in game dev school? Help a brother out, I'm starving. That's honestly so real, Luke. I need I need some of that action in my life. Um Apparently during some text adventure games in the 90s, this one company had a hotline you could call to pay for money, or uh, pay for, pay per minute for hints. That's fucking genius, dude. That's actually goaded. That's like, that's like, uh, that's like escape room style. Absolutely, absolutely genius. Um, okay. Okay. 
Dark Deity escape room. Okay. Uh, boom. Some of the earliest menuing and like controls in uh Damn, just got really dark out all of a sudden. Some of the earliest menus and controls in Dark Duty 2 uh weren't tied to the uh keybind system, so I'm fixing that right now. Uh apparently it was before strategy guides took off. That was the next thing. Yeah. Strategy guides were fucking cool though. I still have some. Um uh, I I fucked with strategy guides. They were fun. Oh, Luke, you don't have any left. Casual alert! <laughs> Isn't Dark Deity Escape Room just what Chip longs for when he plays Dark Deity 1? That's so fucking accurate. No one has ever said anything so true. Uh, you could add unique skins for Dark Deity characters as well that can only be obtained in Luke. There's so many ways to monetize games. It's It's... It's annoying, actually. I would toss them around, pee on them, probably. Yeah, that's that sounds accurate. I, I absolutely believe that, Luke. Love you to death, but I absolutely believe it. Uh, <laughs> first strategy guide for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Cover is so destroyed by now. <laughs> oh, no. No. I have offended Luke. <laughs> I say that I say that with all love. I was the worst as well. In in ways I will not even describe on stream. Um I was a little demon child. Oh my god. Me and my brothers. I was in a three uh, a three boy household. Three sons. So, it was my parents were down bad. Let's put it that way. It was not ideal. Uh let's see. <laughs> Me trying to clean my Radiant Dawn disc with toothpaste so I could <laughs> promote to tier 3. Uh, as much as I enjoy Dark Duty 1, it gives me hope that you feel there's that much of a difference in quality between 1 and 2. I wish Zillarite were still here so he could vouch for that, but Luke and Will, if they're here, can absolutely can vouch that Dark Duty 2 is already leagues ahead of Dark Duty 1. And that's, that I, I truly do feel that. Thank you for dropping by, Harmonia. It's good to talk to you. Uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. I'll, I'll try and uh, catch some of those video essays while I work. While I work. <laughs> Wait. Uh, you might have a different uh, a different definition of down bad. I might be using this in a in a extremely local sense that uh, that is giving you the wrong impression. <laughs> we it's pretty versatile in uh, in the Bay Area where I live. We use it for all sorts of things. It doesn't just mean uh, well. Who knows. But I don't think I meant it how you're taking it, so. <laughs> Yikes. No. I have, okay. While we're on the topic of parents, because this is interesting, if you really want some developer lore, uh, I am both adopted and have divorced parents. So I technically have, uh, let's see, like, two and a half dads, and I will be approaching four moms technically pretty soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm collecting parents like the fucking Infinity Stones. And I just got, I just got married, so I got in-laws too. I got hella parents, it's crazy. I might be opposite of a JRPG protagonist. <laughs> the, the opposite of a Marvel superhero. 
They I just keep I just keep adding on. Um Ash Ketchum has nothing on me. <laughs> that's my that's my superpower. Ooh, you know what? Okay, we're good. Just realizing something. Where is the grid? Um, by the way, I'll probably stream's gonna end in a couple minutes here, but uh, everyone knew that came to stream today. Great questions. Thanks for keeping it lively. This was this was an awesome stream. I am looking forward to if you guys can be here in the future, continuing to talk more. The more people in chat, the more shit I leak. So there is that. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is uh, one staunch consistency in my life. Um, okay, so. Let's see if this actually fixed anything. It would be nice. <laughs> Give us all the leaks in four seconds, go. <laughs> no, no. Oh shit. Okay. Let me just, let me just get some, let me turn down my master volume here. That, that, that was genuinely not on purpose. Um. <laughs> Oopsie. Y'all just got some, uh, just got some, some music. I was just trying to test something, goddammit. I did. It. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's okay. It's nothing, it's nothing, uh. We're good. We're good. It's nothing that is too spoiling. Um, oh, interesting. Wait. What the fuck? Why in the world? Hold on. It did pop up on the back monitor, though. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? No! Uh, Modder's gonna remake it and somehow find out the full plot of the game. Honestly. Yeah, po Pokey, Pokey's literally, like, Downloading this VOD right now, fucking setting it to 0.1x speed and listening to all of the little UI clicks while I'm turning down the volume. Well, that could have been bad. If I if I had if I had opened the wrong level there, that could have been really bad. Thank you, Zillarite. That's that's what I was that's what I was uh I was getting at, Luke. Uh, <laughs> he might be biased. It's 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 actually just true though. You would have gotten Cassandra footage. Let me say something. The the particular the particular save and level that I opened unironically Yes, you would have gotten Cassandra footage. True. It is true. She was she was on screen there for a sec. Not Arthur though. Pokey, not Arthur. Arthur might not even be a playable character. We don't even know who Arthur is. All of the audio is from Ford's cheeks. I know he he's trying to sneak around, but he's dummy thick, and his the clap of his cheeks keeps alerting the enemies, keeps alerting the sirens. <laughs> um, all right, it's five again for newcomers. Uh, I stream from four to five Tuesdays and Fridays. 
Usually the same deal. Sometimes, like on Friday, I'll be playing uh, Radiant Dawn, but I'm always happy to answer Dark Deity and Dark Deity Two questions. Um, she 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 is an early join. That's true. Well, then just stop being a coward, Mia. But yeah, I'm gonna head out because it's uh, it's about that time, uh, and then I'm gonna finish up the story implementation because I can actually do that when I'm not on stream. Uh, love you all for coming. Thank you for coming by the stream, and hopefully I will see you Friday or next Tuesday. Uh, have a good week, everyone. Peace. And now, now here, now I'm gonna do the. Now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna stare directly into the camera. Realize I have to look away to.